So I've been seriously obsessed with pub chips, you know, the type that they sell at restaurants with like an awesome burger or something, the kind that they make right in house. Well, here's a simple, super simple recipe for a small batch pan fried potato chips. Yep, I just make them right in a pan and they are only made with about three ingredients and what I'm using here are russet potatoes. So you'll wanna make this for an appetizer snack or just for a little side dish for your own burgers or sandwiches at home. So today I'm going to take Take you in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make these super delicious pan fried potato chips from scratch. Yep, you're going to make delicious homemade potato chips by the time you're done with this recipe. Let's do it. So you want to use a mandolin to thinly slice russet potatoes on the first or second setting. Uh, for this demonstration, I used a mandolin with three settings from Progressive. It's um, The setting was the middle one and the potato chips were about an eighth of an inch thick. The thinner you slice the potatoes, the more area you'll need in the frying pan. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind <laughs> and the different times they'll cook. So you wanna make them all the same thickness. So you soak the potatoes in a bowl of cold water for five minutes um, and then they're ready to go so you set them out on a paper towel line surface um, so they can dry and you can just pat them and then the drier they are the better they'll crisp up so you definitely don't want to skip this step <laughs> so then you add olive oil to the largest pan that you own or maybe you use two or do them in batches and you heat the pan to medium high heat and when the oil is shiny it's nice and hot and then it's ready to add the potato slices and you want to add them in a flat layer so they can slightly touch but definitely don't overlap the potatoes while they cook instead Cook them in batches if you need to, and sprinkle salt on the potatoes as desired. After a minute or a few, depending on how high your pan actually is, the side of the potato slices will begin to brown. That's the side that's down that's touching the pan. And so you wanna flip them and cook the other side of the potatoes. And you just wanna get them nice and brown and actually they'll finally crisp up when you take them off of the heat and you line them on a paper towel lined surface to cool for a minute or two. And then you can eat them right away. And I love to serve them with all different things, but I have a really delicious cilantro jalapeno ranch sauce. Um, you could also do guacamole. Um, you could do nothing. You could do honey mustard. They're really good. So this is a really great side dish, and I know you're going to love it once you try it. Well, I hope you're thoroughly enthused to try making these small batch pan fried potato chips. Um, making homemade potato chips from scratch is one of my favorite things to do on the weekend. Um, I don't always have potato chips around, but if we are getting a little hungry for a snack, they're kind of fun to do. Um, so I think you'll enjoy making them. They really don't take long at all. You're gonna love this recipe for frozen mixed vegetables, potatoes au gratin. It's stuffed with delicious vegetables that are just right out of your freezer. I use some carrots, peas, onions, and red peppers in my veggie mix. And then I layer on some sweet potato and some yellow potato, and this all goes in the oven to bake for an hour. It comes out so delicious, it barely requires any prep time, and there's a delicious layer of cheese on top. I can't wait to show you how to make it. Do you love cooking super easy recipes at home? Make sure to subscribe to the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube and check out SipBiteGo.com for super easy but delicious meals that you can cook at home. You don't have to be an expert to be able to pull off these delicious dishes. Subscribe to Sip Bite Go today. Well, until next time, don't forget to check out another recipe video here at Sip Bite Go, and I hope that you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers!